welcome to what and all so here i am to discuss about this uh, 69th bpsc preliminary examination course material whatever we have to offer to you of course we'll discuss over here this will be the live online classes remember and uh, you can avail it through drishti learning app of course, the mod would be online only. Altogether, 120 plus classes would be there. That makes almost of 300 plus hours. But when we finish the classes, the overall classes after that, you will be able to see it again and again. So watch each class unlimited number of times. That is also one of the features. The main emphasis of course, on to the clarification of uh, some, some types of uh, doubts and of course, uh, clarifying the concepts, clarifying the previous questions, okay. So, there's special emphasis on clarifying concepts and of course, to develop the skills so that you can crack the options, so that you can crack the questions properly. There would be discussion and regular practice of previous year's questions for the BPSC. Then there would be online test series based on the latest syllabus for the BPSC examination. And remember that is of course free of cost. In addition to that, you will get two books of BPSC prelims success series and that is being published by the Dishti Publications, of course. Here it is. And that will be sent to your registered address, free of cost again. The feature of these books are that it covers the entire syllabus for the BPSC preliminary examination. Again, in addition to all these facets, you will get the monthly magazine Bihar Current Affairs today and that is again based on the BPSC examination pattern and that would be free of cost again for one year and in between there will be a regular doubt clearing session with your faculty member via the Zoom. Moreover, what I have to add over here that uh, here I am to discuss about the kind of things which is pertaining to the science and technology for the BPSC preliminary examination that is 69th BPSC preliminary examination. So here we discuss about the general science and technology portion only. You might be knowing that uh, for the BPSC examination of course uh, there is a new course or you may call the you know uh, segment which is there from the general science and technology portion. and. Uh, I can't guess that how, what would be the number of uh, questions from this segment, but uh, altogether we can uh, make assure that uh, make a kind of experience to you that uh, there may be 15 to 20 percent of questions which will be covering from the general science and technology portion itself. So we'll have to see over here that in what way we have to go through, in what way we have uh, meticulously designed this uh, whole of the affairs, in what way the holistic approach pertaining to general science and technology we can have through our efforts. So let us discuss first about the kind of uh, coverage which we may provide you under the general science and technology portion. This general science and technology portion actually pertains to the biology portion, I mean biological sciences. Then of course, it is pertaining to the physical sciences. Then of course, to the chemical sciences. Then also to this uh, environmental science, 
to some extent only and then the part of technology ek baat main bata dun kyunki ye bpsc state pcs ka course hum log design karke aapke samne la rahe hain isliye jo classes aapke run karenge of course medium would be the english only lekin इस क्लास में इंग्लिश की बातें होंगी लेकिन जो डिस्कशन होगा वो निश्चित तौर पर हिंदी और इंग्लिश दोनों में होगा तो बेसिकली हम लोग जो कुछ भी लिखेंगे जो कुछ भी बात करेंगे वो दोनों में दोनों मीडियम में होगी लेकिन जो बोर्ड का क्लास या क्लास वर्क जो होगा आपका वो निश्चित तौर पर अंग्रेजी में ही होगा उसमें हम हिंदी में नहीं जा सकते हैं तो इन बिटवीन जो डिस्कशन हम लोग करते रहते हैं वो ऑफकोर्स हिंदी में भी करेंगे और ये मत सोचिएगा कि केवल और केवल हिंदी में ही करेंगे क्योंकि मीडियम यदि इंग्लिश है तो फिर हमें इंग्लिश में ही चीज़ों को रखनी भी पड़ेगी लेकिन डिस्कशन का जो मामला है जहाँ तक उसको हम लोग बाइलिंगल करके रखेंगे हिंदी में भी और इंग्लिश में भी एंड इफ दीज यू नो फाइव सेगमेंट्स आर देयर तो अब हम लोग ये देखें कि जैसे बायोलॉजिकल साइंस अगर हमें लेना है तो उसमें हम किन किन चीज़ों को फोकस करने जा रहे हैं इस होल ऑफ द कोर्स में तो यदि मैं सबसे पहले बायोलॉजिकल साइंस की बात करूँ या बायोलॉजी की बात करो जिसको आप बायोलॉजी कहते हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि ऑलमोस्ट विल हैव टू गो थ्रू ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेल्व सेक्शन अंडर द बायोलॉजिकल साइंस बिकॉज दिस इज अ वाइटल सेक्शन सबसे पहले हम लोग बात करेंगे अंडर दिस बायोलॉजिकल सेक्शन अबाउट द माइक्रो बायोलॉजी देन ऑफकोर्स विल गो फॉर द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स Similarly, we'll go for classification of uh, animals as well, and after the classification part, we'll go for the cytology. I mean, the science part any to cells. Then we'll go for histology, the science part any part any to tissues. Then we'll go for physiology, of course. Or is physiology section me? कई सारे components आएंगे. जैसे याद कीजिए. Firstly, it would be nutrition, or you may call digestion. Secondly, we'll go for respiration. Thirdly, you will go for excretion as well. Then we'll go for reproduction. Then we'll go for, of course, uh, circulation. Circulation of blood, actually. So circulation. I mean the blood, the chemistry of blood. then we'll go for control and coordination i mean the brain and the hormones control and coordination okay so all these segments they come under the physiology part then also we have to go for another part of it that is genetics so these are the main segments under the biological sciences aur mujhe lagta hai ki yadi ye itna cover kiya jaye to nishchit taur par hamare jitne bhi तरह के प्रश्न आएंगे उसमें उसको कर सकने की स्थिति में हम लोग निश्चित तौर पर होंगे इफ यू मूव फॉर द एंड फोकस ऑन टू द फिजिकल साइंसेस आई कैन टेल यू दैट देर आर ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स सेगमेंट्स व्हिच वी हैव टू कवर अंडर दिस फिजिकल साइंसेस द फर्स्ट वन ऑफ कोर्स इज ऑल टूगेदर द ऑल thing which is concerned with the physical science i mean fundamentals of physics you can say then we will go for uh, acoustics this is actually the science of sound waves or sound energy then we we'll go for optics this is a science pertaining to light then we we'll go for the heat energy that is thermodynamics we go for electricity and finally to go for magnetic measure so these six are the segments under the physical sciences moving further for the chemical sciences Firstly, we'll go for uh, the states of matter. You can see. 
solid liquid gases, plasma, and of course, there is fifth one that is called as Bose-Einstein condensate. So the five types of matter which exist here. Then we'll go for the atomic theory. Then we'll go for valency. Then of course the oxidation reduction reaction that is redox reactions. After finishing this redox reactions, we'll go for uh, the noble gases. Then we'll go for acid base theory. Of course, we'll go for radioactivity. Also, we'll have to focus on the chemistry of water. particularly the hard water. Then we'll go for metallurgy, the extraction of metal and so on. So metallurgy. Then we'll go for chemistry of carbon, I mean ornic chemistry, different types of carbons. So these are the segments under the chemical sciences. Okay. Moving further, as far as the environmental science is concerned, so we'll have a dis general discussion for environment, the general meaning of it. Then, of course, environmental pollution. Then, of course, some of the ecological events and under the ecological events you will have to make sure something about the acid rain then of course the depletion of ozone then of course the greenhouse effect And also the global warming. And because of such type of effects and warming, of course, there is climate changes as well. So these are the segments under the environmental sciences. And then obviously the most important segment that is the part of uh, technology only. So, under the technological aspects, we will go for the renewable energy technology, Then we'll go for the nuclear energy technology. After that, we have to go for the space technology. Then we'll move to for the missile technology, you can say. Then for the applied technology. Under this applied technology, the main segments would be something like that of nanotechnology, of course, uh, robotics and uh, artificial intelligence. Then, of course, uh, something about the quantum computing and also the laser technology and 
basically from the current affairs only that is pertaining to IT sector that means information technology that is also coming under the applied part. So, information technology. So, these were the main segments under the applied technology. Moreover, under the applied technology itself, we can put another part of it that is biotechnology. So, these would be the part of applied technology. So, here we have uh, just seen the glimpse of the courses under the general science and technology portion. If you look into the facts, if you look into the segments, you can find that generally the questions would be from the applied part only. The factual aspects are important, but at the same time, the conceptual part is more important because if you know the concept, of course, you will be in a position to go for any type of questions, to attempt any type of questions and that too very much correctly. Yadi aapke paas theoretical gyan hota hai ya conceptual gyan hota hai, to uske aadhar par aap kai aise prashna honge aapke, jisko, jiske baare mein aapko bahut jada pata nahi hoga, lekin yadi aapke paas concept hai, to us concept pe aadhar par aap chijiyon ko crack kar sakte hai, aap sahih uttar kwa chunao kar sakte hai. Moreover, there is a kind of boon for you people, that generally the BPSC is asking the questions which is having a single option. जो भी आपसे प्रश्न पूछे जाएंगे उसमें एक सिंगल ऑप्शन ही आपको पिक करना होता है मल्टीपल ऑप्शंस की गुंजाइश नहीं होती है कि जैसे कोई मान लीजिए ए बी सी डी है तो ए बी सही है या ए बी सी सही है या चारों सही हैं इस तरह के बहुत ही प्रश्न होंगे अगर होंगे भी तो एक तो होते नहीं है और अगर होते हैं तो बहुत ही कम होते हैं लेकिन मुझे लगता है कि अब चूंकि उन्होंने पैटर्न बदला है तो ऐसा हो सकता है कि दे मे पुट समर्ट ऑफ यू नो मल्टीपल ऑप्शन एज वेल तो थोड़ा सा उसके लिए भी प्रिपेयर होकर रहना है आपको and when we enter into that kind of uh, uh, frame, that means you will have to go through the conceptual part. Because if you don't know the concept, then you will not be able to do this kind of questions. Because when multiple options, so when there are 4 options, if you have less than 3 options, if you have less than 3 options, then you can do the question in a right way. If you know the two options, if you don't know the third or fourth, then you can do the question in a right way. So, my main emphasis would not only to go through the you know segments the factual part but to thrust upon the conceptual part kyunki mera ye manna hai ki agar hum concept ko clear karke rakhe to bahut sare aise prashn honge jinko hum log kar sakte hain ki sthiti mein hote hain so here i can give you only one assurance that if you come and you join the you know course study material or you may call the real course uh, stuff then you will be highly benefited and uh, the way we are we have from the uh, you know uh, we the way we have from the all of the syllabus that would be really instrumental for you so i do request all of you to join the course and make your uh, uh, make true the success story of yours thank you very much take care thank you